and she snatches it out of my hands and her eyes pop out of her hair and she goes, pop, pop, pop. Nearly finished it off. It was like that much in there. Trying to hand it back to you? Yeah, it was nearly full and I gave it to her. Hands it back to me. And I wouldn't even touch it being that fast. I grabbed it. I didn't want to, but I just took it. So I just stood there for like 10 minutes. They it went, move, crazy people. Their eyes, their eyes sense movement don't move. And she gets waiting, waiting to go in so I can throw it away. Right. <laughs> Treating it like a biohazard. I'm trying to tell my brother that we were down right by the police station, by the gas station, right to the side. We've got actually about an hour before I drop him off to school. Okay, because i got to run back to the house and I believe the only thing that the kids are still in the So yeah, before know. we really start the way though, We're here at uh, IHOP. Got it right this time. Having breakfast. Uh, we showed up at the uh, Fox 7 News station today at 6:30 to uh, see Greg off as he goes in to do a piece on his uh, little that show segment. And uh, then we followed him back to the truck and talked to him a little bit about uh, how the show went. And as you see now, we're in IHOP. Just got through enjoying a nice meal. And uh, our buddy Joseph uh, set off the emergency fire alarm, sitting right next to it, just kind of bumped it with his elbow. I panicked and I went under the table and hid while the, the waitress came over and shut it off. But, uh, yeah, yeah, Christian was on the phone at the time. Robert was like, what is that noise? And Christian was like, I don't hear nothing. Shit. My phone's making a weird siren call. <laughs> But, uh, so after this, we're going to catch it back up with Greg and um, take a tour around his uh, farm, which is kind of like his uh, Fortress of Solitude. And we're going to kind of see what he does while he's off work. So we'll see you there. Outside of the Brikerwood Vet Clinic, uh, waiting on Dr. Beely to uh, finish up with some of his appointments. Um, and then me and Chad are going to follow him, or not follow him, we're going to accompany him in his truck uh, to his uh, ranch uh, in Rockdale and uh, get some footage of him out there just doing what he does out in his, uh, his little own sanctuary. So uh, here we go. I'll shoot you shooting, Greg. Alright, so you guys want to tell me about the rifles or the uh, saddles or the cowboy hats or whatever? Well, these saddles, of course, these are saddles that we use here on the farm and we use them fairly often. You look around here and you find an old piece of equipment left here on the farm from like in the oil days and so forth. 
little bicycle over there was the bicycle that my kids learned how to ride on, so I just decided to bring it out here and hang it from the ceiling. So, Jen, tell us where we're at. Tell us what we're doing. We are Keep at it down we're rolling. Finca de Goya, which in means Greg's Ranch. And this is his cabin with his 270 acres of beautiful farmland. We fed the cows. We've looked at his horses. Road tractors. Ran, ran tractors. And uh, it's currently gone from extremely humid to the cold front has just arrived and now it's cool and beautiful. This is our final day of shooting and we're almost wrapped. Unless we need anything. Unless we need anything else. Yeah. And since Chad's not working for him now, so you know. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think of this out here, Christian? Pretty nice, huh? Yeah. Serene. Would you like to live here? So, Christian, what do you think with all these uh, reality shows we have breaking off all at the same time? Uh, I think we're going to be pretty busy. Um, it's looking good. 2010? Yeah. Watch out for TMI. 2010. 2010 is the year of TMI. There you go. And uh, Jen's going to make us a lot of money, isn't she? I certainly hope so. Yeah, I certainly hope so, too. Gather Aaron, Aaron and her environment, you and yours, that's going to book in it really, really well. They won't, they won't be able to miss our intent, you know, in terms of how we represent the two of them. So we won't keep you any longer. I guess probably you've got stuff to do or you got to get back to work. Yeah, really. I'm going to hang out here probably another hour and just probably <coughs> do a little bit of work.